So Enterprise Mobility Suite is uniquely able to manage and enforce app restrictions for Outlook and Office mobile apps on iOS and Android. Uh, this provides a best-in-class and a consistent user experience for users across email, productivity, and collaboration, uh, all the while protecting the corporate data. So users are able to copy corporate data to corporate managed apps, but they are not able to copy uh, data to personal apps. So let's take a look. So from my iPad, uh, let's go over into the company portal app. Uh, first thing you'll notice in the company portal app is that you can do custom branding. So uh, up in the upper left hand corner, you see uh, you can get your you know, company name, your company logo. Uh, at the bottom of the screen, you can specify your uh, IT contact information, including phone number and uh, IT website information. So from the company portal, uh, let's go into company apps. So company apps are those corporate managed apps that my organization has defined. These are those uh, these corporate managed apps are those apps uh, where I want to keep all of the, the data and information in those apps secure and separated from any personal apps. So this is a listing of those you can see here. In this case, um, I have a number of apps defined as corporate managed apps, including uh, Outlook, Excel, PowerPoint, Word, OneDrive, as well as a few others. So let's see this in action. Let's go back to the home screen here. I'm going to load Outlook. So here I am in Outlook. This is my corporate email. Um, I've also defined a personal email account within Outlook. Uh, but from here in my corporate email, let's scroll down here and get to this email from Alex Darrow. You can see this email contains a word attachment called the Northwind Traders Proposal. I'm going to go ahead and open that and preview that document. So let's say that I wanted to take some, some data out of this document and copy that. So I'm going to go in here, uh, just maybe grab this first paragraph, and then I'm going to choose Copy on that information and I'm going to go ahead and close the preview here. So let's say I wanted to take that information and paste that into another application. Now uh, as I mentioned I also have my personal e email set up in Outlook here so let's go over to my personal email. Let's start a new email and you can see here I do not have paste available uh, because uh, it knows that uh, this is a personal account set up within Outlook. So uh, again, protecting that corporate information, I do not have the ability to paste that information into this personal email account. Now if we were to close that and go back over to my corporate email, start a new email there. From here you'll see I do have paste available and I'm able to select paste and to paste that information in because again I'm using uh, my corporate email here. Now this would work uh, the same. You remember that list of corporate managed apps. I would be able to copy this or paste this data into uh, you know, Word, Excel, PowerPoint. Um, I would not be able to paste it into again any personal app. So you think uh, of something like maybe the native notes app within um, within the iPad. I would not be able to paste information in there because again that is not a corporate managed app. Okay, let's take another a look at another example here. We'll delete that. Let's go back to that email from Alex Darrow. This, in, this, uh, in this case we're going to actually load that document within Word. Okay, so we have that document loaded up into Word here. Uh, from within Word, I'm going to click on the File menu here, and I'm going to say Duplicate. So I want to copy this file uh, to another repository. You see here I, I have a number of options, OneDrive, Dropbox, SharePoint. Let's say I want to copy this information to my Dropbox account. So I'm going to choose Dropbox, and I'm going to click Duplicate. 
you'll see here I get a message. Your administrator doesn't allow saving to personal locations. And if you remember back to that corporate managed app list, Dropbox was not one of my corporate managed apps. Therefore, it's seen as a personal app, and therefore I'm not able to copy information into it. However, if you remember back from that list, OneDrive was a corporate managed app on that list. So in this case, I can select OneDrive and say duplicate. And you'll see there the file is saved to OneDrive because again, it's a, 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 a corporate managed app and I'm able to copy the data uh, to that application. So what we just saw here, um, you know, using mobile application management with Enterprise Mobility Suite. We saw how it allows organizations to provide a consistent user experience for employees. Uh, and that's an, uh, you know, an experience that uh, um, uh, users can be you know, very productive with real office on, right? Not a office-like proprietary app with limited functionality and, and a you know, confusing user interface. It is, it is an actually real office. So they're able to be productive with real office, but all the while keeping that corporate data secure within that managed app ecosystem that I'm able to define within my organization. So thanks for watching.